Okay. Anyway, take another crack at the bow. First thing I want to do is get rid of these. Now you're going to use this one for your first assignment, but you can use any other object like a bottle, a light bulb, etc., to put something inside of it. And uh, first thing you do is you go to the spot healing brush, which is up here, and erase, or actually you're blending in, but it's the same thing you're erasing. Part of this, all of this actually. Okay, now this time, of course, I got messed up on this, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to leave it that way for now. Okay, I have started over too many times. The next thing I want to do is delete the background. So I'm going to go to the magic eraser tool. And since I have a solid color, it's very easy to erase it just by clicking here. So now I'm going to do save as because I've done that work. I don't want to go back and have to do it again. So it's called, I'm just going to save it over clear bulb, bulb edited. Save. Resave it again. Save that as a PSD before you, you move on. Okay, guys. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to open up the image that's going inside of the bulb. So again, I have to go look and I'm going to find the cabin. Actually, I'm going to try this one. And since it's centered, it, it may be a little easier to select it. However, I will lose some things off the side. Oh, and just like when you did the um, storm in a teacup or whatever that was called, uh, I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool and hold down shift to do the selection. And this is the problem I'm having, this jerky motion. I do not want to go off the page there. Okay, so I waited till it stopped jerking and then I released it. So I'd like to have a little more of the cabin inside, but I'm just going to center it for the sake of, the, of ease or for my sanity. Okay, now it's a little high up here, so you can move it down some and you can use those arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune your adjustment. Okay. Well, I tried to get as much of it as I could. Now, I'm not going to copy and paste this time. I'm going to go down here and click on the icon for make a layer mask or add a mask. So what I just did is I added a layer mask and uh, Photoshop took it and it put black around the area that's not selected and it blocks the view. It's still there. The entire image is still there, but it's only showing this part. And this is the part I'm going to move. So, drag it over to the other image and then minimize this. Okay. And then for some of you, if you just click and drag, it's going to stay in a circle. Okay, for others, it'll be just the opposite. If you have older versions of Photoshop, you're going to have to um, click and hold shift to get it to stay in a circle. In my case, what I want to do is distort it now so it fits better inside the bulb. So I have to hold down shift. So I'm going to make it more oblong. Now guys, if you've experimented with Photoshop, you've seen other tutorials there's several different ways to do anything if you figure out a better way by all means do it that way and then let us know but i certainly won't be embarrassed if you find something better okay you can see this is going to be a little bit tough so let me try using the arrow keys to move it up so okay well, that's about as good as I think I'm going to get with this. Okay, so 
what I want to do now is hit the, hit the check mark that commits it. So it's where I want it to go. I can always go back and move it again later, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now I have the top layer mask. I have the, the, the image below because I need the edges, so I don't want to delete that. Okay. The next thing is to save this. Save it, by, save it in steps. Save as. And I'm going to call this clear bulb cabin, which to me means that the cabin is selectable. Because if you don't save things often, that means you have to start the whole thing over. Okay. So I got that saved. Now I'm going to open up the image where it's going to go. So I got things all over the place like I always do. So I'm going to try to put it on this image right here. Okay, pull it down. And the reason I'm pulling it to the left is I want to be able to see the layers. Uh, I believe you can put the layers wherever you want them to go, but I like working to the left like this. And I'm going to go back to this image, and you can tell that you can see the multiple layers. And now, in order to move all of this over here, I need to select all of it. So right now, you can see that only the top layer, the layer mask layer is like this, I'm going to hold down shift. Now I can move the entire kit and caboodle over to here. And then I'm going to start resizing this and lo and behold, it's a miracle. I forgot something. And what I forgot was to go back to the layer mask. I mean, thank God we can do it after we move it. And if you click on the mask itself, you can actually feather this, which is what I was showing you guys today or tried to show you in class. So you kind of want to make it look like it's inside there. So by having those glowing edges around the sides, it sort of makes it look like it's actually inside. And there's some other issues I'm going to have up here, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now before I screw up again. Okay, if I'm right, and I'm usually not, I'm going to try and fix the image behind this. So I've got this layer selected, and I want to select this layer again. And I'm going to turn that off. Oh, I guess I have to turn it both off anyway. Never mind. And you can see that when I turn it, them both back on, we have a double image here. We have the actual original um, clamp that goes on the top of the bulb. And I want to get rid of that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the actual image where it is, and I'm going to select content aware in a second here. Now the string is going to go away. This may or may not work. I'm going to try it. So right click on the selection and click left click on fill. Content aware and normal. Let's see what happens. Not too bad, not too bad. But you can see there's a little bit more here. I'm going to hope that that will work anyway. However, I am going to do a little bit of coding because I don't like this light right here. So I'm going to raise the size up. Like I said, guys, you may find a much better way to do it. Oops, look at that hard edge. Bad, bad, bad. I'm going to go change the brush hardness to about halfway down. And let's try it again. Now, I don't want that there because it looks ridiculous. Nor that. So I'm just going to leave it like this and see what happens. OK. So I'm going to turn this back on, turn this back on. And now you can see it looks a lot better. But I'm going to have to try to move these two objects down. You can see the red. You can, you can see the red bulb behind this. OK, good. It's still covering it up. And then you notice here it's not quite uh, lining up with the string. 
So I'm going to bring my mouse out here and just rotate the whole thing slightly. And click on commit. Okay, so this would be semi transparent, which it was to begin with. So that's not too objectionable. I wish I did a better job, but I don't want to start this over again. So now I've got the three objects together. And now before I run it again, I'm going to do file save as. And I'm going to go to final production and save this as bulb underscore cabin underscore completed. Or you could add background. Click save PSD. Okay. So now you have those three objects together right now. So let me stop the video.